Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an Old Gamer Gaming. My name is Cage. I am the Old Gamer. Uh, today we are starting uh, a new series. Yes, I know. I have a few series this is already going, but this is how I do. Games come and go in my life, and uh, I like to play them all. So I'm going to add another series to my channel. Uh, we're going to be playing some Satisfactory, which is a really fantastic game. I played a bunch of it in Update 5. This is Update 6. It is currently still in Experimental, so it's not actually uh, a released Update 6. However, it is, I've been watching some videos and doing some research, and it's a pretty solid Experimental update. So we're going to start a new game uh, with, with that. Um, I am using two mods currently in this game, uh, the pack utility mod, which will help with like creative style things and, and other things as well. And I'm also using one called permaday just so that we don't ever get any nighttime cycles because well, it gets dark and recording and blah, 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 blah. We don't get lights for a while, blah, 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 blah. So we're just going to leave it on daytime. Um, that's it. Everything else is going to be, uh, vanilla. Um, <clears throat> this is what it looks like when you are first getting into the game. Um, you've got four starting areas. Uh, these two are recommended for your, your first timers. Um, grass fields is probably a little bit easier than Rocky desert, but really not that much difference between them. Um, this one's a bit challenging. The Northern forest There's a lot of uh, altitude changes, uh, which can make building challenging at times. Um, and then there is the, uh, dune desert, which is recommended for advanced pioneers. Now I do not know if I would call myself an advanced pioneer, but I am going to start with the dune desert because, uh, it's got a lot of flat area, which is good for building. There is a substantial amount of resources, uh, in the way of the early game resources, iron, copper, uh, limestone, etc. There's rose quartz, there's caterium, etc., etc. All out there now. For those of you who have never seen this game, some of those maybe you may be like, "What's caterium?" Eh, you'll see. It's just a, an ore that we can find and discover and learn uh, how to use and, and craft. It's uh, it, it's specific to this particular planet. Um, I am not going to skip the intro. Uh, we're going to go through the whole thing as if the, I, I, as if I'd never played before, just so y'all can see it. If you've never played before, um, and, uh, we're naming the session name noob underscore, uh, U six for update six, uh, only because my original games in update five, I, I called noob because I had never played at that time. So we're just going to keep it noob. Why not? Uh, all right. And, uh, let's do it. I'll see you on the other side of the, uh, intro.
Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABC, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akita. Ayamida, also known as Artificial Director and Assistant, helps to support pioneers, such as you, in their missions. You are the third of your sector to survive Planet Call. Congratulations! Yo! Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to Onboarding. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be resurfaced to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note. Keep it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. All right. We are free now. I'm not sure. I th That's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. I am not 100% sure. I think your uh, actual drop location is a bit random. Um, but I could be wrong. I mean, maybe you get dropped in the same spot in the zone every time. I am not sure. But let's go ahead and uh, follow our instructions here. We're going to uh, dismantle our... All important cryptic data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Press O to open the codex. It's a pretty cool, uh, actually, codex. It um, it will go in and it will it will show you exactly all the recipes that you know. Um, you can then add items to your to do list, which is a pretty neat uh, um, uh, function as well. It will have the different equipment that you know, like we can make a Xeno Zapper, which we actually have. Uh, which is our only protection right now against uh, the baddies on this planet. And there are creatures on this planet that want to um, eat your face off and probably other things. And then the buildings that we know, we can build a hub. And we can see that it takes uh, the hub parts, which we picked up when we dismantled our drop pod. And it, takes, uh, and it creates the hub. And then we can also make a craft bench, which takes some iron plates. And if you look at each of these, it'll show you the recipe for the iron plate. In this case, it takes uh, three iron ingots. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can freeze that drop over and drop in and go into there. I'm not sure. That'd be kind of cool if you could. I don't know the keys seem to work here for that. Anyways, uh, and I believe you can also search. Um, oops. Okay. According to cryptic regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Press tab to open the inventory. We're going to stick this in our hand. There we go. And yes, yeah, see, we have uh, we have a couple of zap. Hold objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Press V to scan for iron nodes. Oh, there's some bad guys down there. This looks like some sulfur. And there's a slug up there. This is some sulfur. We don't really need sulfur initially, so we're just going to, we're going to run by. Let's see here. You see me. Huh. I'm gonna head east. Oh, there goes some of his fires. I'm gonna pick up these uh these tasties as well. Um there's some rose quartz. There it goes. I gotta get the hang of the the jump slide again. 
There's some iron there. All right, time it just saw it. Now what what we want to find if we can some a pure note of iron. That is pure, that's nice. And a pure note of well, copper. I'm really struggling at the uh the jump slide here. That's a bit better. It's been a little while since I've played this game. Um, Steam tells me the last time I played it was in August of uh, last year, so. Almost a whole year. And here we have ourselves a pure, oh, this is nice. Let me pick that up. We have some bad guys. I'm just going to avoid them at the moment, although we're going to have to probably kill them. They do get a little bit aggressive. Let's see what this copper is here. Yeah. This is, oh, this is pure copper. Oh, that's nice. What's up here? Oof. Oh, it's, oh, 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 okay, okay, hold on. Not very good at the, uh, the, the, the combat either. You just, you're not going to charge me? Okay, well, we killed them. Did you drop something for me? Usually they drop a... Yeah, there it is. The ho oh, they're called hog remains now. They used to be called that. Uh, what do we got here? We got some... Oh, we got pure copper, or pure iron. So we have pure iron, pure copper... And there's a pure limestone over there. Wow. Okay. Well, let's do our... This is a pretty cool um, uh, tool, too. It'll show you. Then it'll, They'll show up on your map for a few minutes, tell you how far they are, or your compass, I mean. Um, and then you can make your way to them. Uh, we will eventually also get um, the ability to add more resources to this. So we are going to uh, mine some more here. Okay, well, since we have, um, I really got to get this jump thing done, down, but I'm sure I will. Anyways, oh boy. Anyways, since we have a copper there, we have an ore, our iron here, I think this plateau looks like a nice place to build our hub on. I have a nice central area. It's relatively flat. Uh -huh. All right, let's do that. We're going to build our hub. Uh, we're going to do Q, and there's our hub. And let's see, how do I want to place this hub? Q, 
Yeah, uh, this is, I think, our power. We get a couple of, um, uh, how are they called? Uh, uh, um, <laughs> generators. Oh, that's right. You, this is the uh, the walkthrough. You have to start off at the very, very beginning. You have unlocked hub feature manual slash gun. Hub feature hub terminal. Yep. If I had skipped the intro, this would this hub would already be built and we'd have uh, everything available to us. But since I didn't, um, we have just the very beginning, which is kind of cool, though, because it tells us, you know, it, it just shows you everything that you do if you start from the intro. So um, hub upgrade one is what we want to do first. <clears throat> We're going to select that milestone and we need, uh, it tells us right here, we need 10 um, iron bars, right? So this is our manual craft bench. You can craft pretty much anything in here. Um, you have to, you can hold down the space bar. Uh, I think there's a way to do it where it will automatically. Yes, if you press alt and then press space bar, um, it'll just go to town like it's doing right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna, um, process all this ore and then we're going to make some iron bars and I'll bring it back when we get that taken care of. All right. So we need uh, 10 iron rods. One iron rod uh, takes one uh, iron uh, bar ingot. Sorry. It's a one to one. So we'll just, we'll just make 10. There we go. And then we come back over here. And then we're going to stick them in. Double click, press the button. And then we get a little bit of a roof going on here. And we get a storage area. We can put stuff in now. You have unlocked building workshop, equipment, portable mining, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Six objective, complete hub upgrade to note. Portable miners require no power in their mining node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. I love the detail of this game. I mean, look, this is your personal craft bench, right? You have tools, vice, right? You got some wire here. You got a, what is this? A, a, a 3D printer, perhaps, or maybe it's a, it looks like it's hot, so that's probably to, to smelt your ores. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so we got some additional um, buildings and stuff available to us. Um, <clears throat> we could make the craft bench already, which is what we already have, but this is good if you're out in the in the field and you need to craft something up real quick. You can uh, slap one of these down and, uh, you know, make what you need. But now we have the equipment workshop <clears throat> as well. Um which we use to manually craft different kinds of equipment. So let's go ahead and hold on. We need, whoop, we need to get some uh, more iron rods and we need six iron plates. So let's go back to our manual crafting here. I said four of these and then six of these. Okay. And let's see, where we, shall we set these guys at? Um, let's see here. Let's make it. Like that, maybe. Sure. And then in here, it's also the details great. Fix it's the company you work for. Or the corporation. And then uh, you can in here we can uh, you can create uh, equipment. So like if we lost our Xeno Zapper, which is entirely possible, uh, you can make a new one. And we can also make these portable miners, which is all we have available to us at the moment, to uh, somewhat automatically uh, um, mine ores uh, resources. It, it gets a lot more efficient and a lot more automated quickly. Uh, so for each of these, let's make um. Four. I'll put two on the copper and two on the iron. 
Um, so we need uh, <clears throat> 16 and 8. Now, this, this game has a lot of math involved. I mean, I guess you don't have to do, do any math if you don't want to, but if you're trying to do as efficient as you can for, for um, building in, in your factory, <clears throat> then um, the math helps. And it can get pretty complicated. And as you as you advance, obviously, as you would expect, the, uh, the products that you produce get more and more complicated. Um, but it's it's a... I don't know. The, 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 the progression system is pretty cool. Um, I think in here, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in our hand and he's going to look at it. Hmm. All right. And then we put it down and it does this little thing. Hello dude. And it starts to mine. Oops. That's kind of cool. And I'll stick him down and you can open him up and then you'll see he'll get the, the ore in here. Come up. Bear with me when I, as I learn how to do the nice little jumpy slide thing again, it's been a while. There's that. We should probably go take care of him in a second. Before he tries to take care of us. All right, so we got some iron and we got some copper coming. Where'd you go? Oh, he hit me. Got him. All right, let's get some. If you hold shift and click, it'll take the entire stack. Uh, so I made a portable miners. Yep. Buildings can be dismantled without any loss of resources. That's correct. You can, you never lose any resources. Um, you decide to, to redo your stuff. And that is something that will happen. Whoosh. Um, all right. So now that we have, come on. Uh, so slow. Oh, I like the little caution sign too. Like, oh, watch out, it's a tripping hazard. Okay. So if we go in here and we look at hub upgrade two, <clears throat> we need, oh, look what we're going to get to. We're going to get smelters. Nice. Uh, power lines. We can make copper ingots. We can get my wires and cables. And then we'll be able to actually find copper ore on our scanner. So we need uh, 20 rods and uh, 10 um, plates. I'm going to um, get process all this ore, so I'll bring it back when I'm done. All right, we have everything we need for Milestone 2. Let's go ahead and slap them in here. Upgrader hub. Boom, look, now we have walls. A little more enclosed space. She's going to talk to us again in a minute, I think. Yep. You have unlocked hub features by unlocked burner. Scanner features copy. View buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and task bench, respectively. Seventh objective. Complete hub upgrade three. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. All right, let's go ahead and uh, real quick, it says, oh, if you do this, you can change it to copper and it'll 
find your copper now. Nice, yes. We'll just go back to iron. So we got these walls here. We have this little area here, which will have some decoratable things here in the next upgrade or so. On the back, I actually placed this the wrong way. Well, that's all right. That's all right. It doesn't matter. We have a biomass burner, which is our first source of power in this game. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, oh, there we go. Real quick, we're going to <clears throat> throw in here things that um, we have a bunch of stuff still, don't we? That's nice. What's, what is our hub upgrade three going to take? It's going to take some uh, copper wire, which we have copper now, yay. It's going to take some iron rods, and it's going to take some iron plates. Easy peasy. We're going to get a constructor. We got power poles, nice. We'll give you all make concrete screws, reinforce iron plates, and we'll be able to find limestone. Okay, well, this is going to be pretty easy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to turn in the required resources for upgrade three to our hub. Boom. Yes. Let's see. which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Base objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. You see there's still gonna be some, like a mirror here and probably a door here and there's some additional things that are gonna be put in over here. But we got ourselves a little workstation. We can't actually do anything with it. I think you used to be able to, like, I love that they got code on there. Hey, what you did was really cool. Thanks for tech support. Do you want to go watch a movie sometime? <laughs> Muted pioneer for a thousand years. <laughs> uh, oh, what does this say? Fix it. A fatal exception. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And this one here, system update. Uh, yes or totally yes. And solitaire. Love it. Love it. That's an ode to days gone by. Days of yore. And back here we have our... Well, I guess we didn't actually look at this. <laughs> this is our biomass burner. We have to get some biomass, which it takes things like this and this. And there's more. And it's not as much in the desert as there obviously would be in other places, but we'll manage. The uh, carcasses from all these uh, fauna that we're killing will also um, go towards um, biomass at eventually. But, you know, the goal is, of course, to get to uh, an automated power system, which is the biomass burners or not. You, you have to manually go out and get the the biomass itself and then either use leaves or wood directly or convert it uh, into a more efficient fuel. Uh, once you get into coal, which is the uh, really the first attainable automated power source, then it's it's all automated. You just, you're done. It, it just goes and you have power and it's a glorious thing. What is uh, Hub 4? We, oh, we're going to get some conveyors and some more inventory slots, three more. We need uh, 75 iron plates, we need 10 concrete, and we need 20 cable, which is not difficult to do. Let's go get some con uh, some limestone. Okay, let's get some limestone. We'll set this up on automated uh, uh, production soon enough, because concrete is super duper important especially when we start to get our foundations and we can actually start building um things because as you can imagine they take concrete oh you you shoot fire let's see if we can i don't know if we can get you or not
Ooh, you are not fire. You are your electricity. Okay. Whoa, whoa. You are electricity. Whoa, dude, you are really good with that. He missed. Wow, are you like hit me every time. Whoosh. Well, I lived. Plasma spitter remains. Okay. Well, what's this? Sulfur? Sulfur. I'll take that. Just because we're going to need all this wood eventually. Wood and stuff. Might as well get it while we're out. Gonna be, we're going to thank ourselves when we get back and need to make some biomass, which is coming up quite soon. Okay. Eventually we'll have chainsaws and other ways to, um, to clear... <clears throat> debris all right let's uh let's make what we need here okay ladies and gentlemen it's time for upgrade four boom she's gonna talk congratulations you have unlocked building conveyor belt in hold Inventory additional slots. Ninth objective. Complete hub upgrade five. Note. Portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belt. Advice. When planning the construction of building, note the placement of conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. Do you get anything? I like how you can climb up on things. Get a good look. Alright, so what is um what is for upgrade five? Let's find out. <clears throat> we get the miner, nice, and the storage container, and more inventory slots. Once we get this, we have everything we need that we can automate. Uh, 75, 50, and 20. That's not bad. I need to go get more. <laughs> more. Um, limestone. Yeah, the conveyor conveyoring system and just the... I don't know, the manufacturing uh, system in this game is pretty cool. I'm going to just take um, whoops, this here. So we'll just get rid of this little nugget right here, but it'll give us some, some limestone. I could totally uh, have already started automating um, some production here, but I'm going to wait until we get done with the onboarding process and just kind of that's where you would normally start if you were... Um, uh, if you'd skip the intro, <clears throat> oops, I'm going to get this too, just to kind of clean it up a little bit around here. All right, let's go over here. We're going to get some iron. Okay, and back to the hub. Oh, really got to get this jump slidey stuff figured out. Okay. <clears throat> And again, um, I will bring you back in when we are ready to go. Alrighty, I think we have everything now that we need for upgrade five. Boom. Congratulations. You have unlocked building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub feature, additional biomass burner. Tenth objective, complete hub upgrade six. Note, there are no notes. Note, there are no notes. We have two biomass burners now, which is nice. These are capable of producing 20 megawatts of power. Do that's cool. Um, let's see. Uh, anything else in the back? No, not yet. I never noticed these, like, this up here. It's kind of cool looking. Anyways, what is uh, our six? 
objectives it is going to be we get the space elevator which is a really cool building that we'll see eventually then we'll get to be able to be able to build the ability to make biomass burners and then the ability to make biomass and this will actually enable us to start automating because obviously we couldn't do it if we can't make enough power and 40 megawatts total which is what we get with the two that we're given is not going to be enough to power much for long so we need a hundred iron rods 25 more um plates 100 freaking wire and 50 50 of the oof concrete all right i'm gonna make everything i need and uh you know the drill i will bring you back momentarily all right ladies and gentlemen i believe we are ready to I think this is the final hub upgrade and we'll complete the onboarding process. I think we're going to find out. I believe it is. We, are, we get our rocket now. Congratulations. You have unlocked building space. Here it comes. Building biomass burner type biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations. You succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. <laughs> Our terminal has been converted to give access to milestones here to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocol. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. Good luck. All right, well, we have uh, completed our hub. It's now, this is exactly where, without, you wouldn't have built this if you had started it without the intro, but you would build one soon. And this is where you would start uh, at this point. So I think we are going to leave this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I sincerely hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the episode. It's a really fun game. Um, it gets more and more complicated, more and more fun. Um, I appreciate you coming by to check it out. Uh, if you liked it, please go ahead and uh, smash on that like button for me. It'll help my channel grow. If you have any comments, uh, tips, tricks, constructive criticisms, corrections, requests, you just want to say, hey, Cage, please do so. I will reply to any comment that I receive on my channel. Uh, if you would like to be kept abreast of when I release new content, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and, and ding the notification bell icon. Then whenever I do release a new video, you will get a notification. How exciting is that, right? Lastly, and of course, never leastly, if you all would do me the biggest favor, please, at the end of the day, remember who you are, who we are, who y'all are. We are all in this wild, wacky ride together. If we could just be nice to one another, I think we'd be a lot more happier as a as a as a species. It doesn't do us any any harm to be nice. It actually costs us nothing, and you literally could change somebody's world. Imagine that. Imagine if you were responsible for changing somebody's world for the better. It's it's amazing. Um, if you could do that, that'd be awesome. I would really appreciate it. It would make me feel better as well. You all can follow me on Twitter at an old gamer. You can also uh, like my Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash an old gamer gaming. Until next time, my friends, this is an old gamer. Peace.